All right, hello again. Um, so this is the second in a series of videos where we're doing computer vision on a turtle bot. And so if you haven't seen the first, go and watch that where we set up the webcam feed using Ross and Foxglove. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about detecting a line. And so for this, you can use any kind of colored tape or uh, you can also just take a piece of paper and use some markers, draw a line on it. Um, the colors blue and green tend to work best, but um, most uh, colors that have a lot of contrast should also work. And so uh, we're gonna be using the same code that uh, we started with last time. And here we're gonna mainly be editing this function uh, where we get the camera image and we'll do all of our processing in there. And so uh, first off, we're gonna take our line, uh, whatever we wanna detect and um, basically try to figure out what the color values are of this line. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and set it right in front of the robot. And then we'll open up Foxglove and um, download an image from there. And so we have our line, we can go ahead and right click download image. And then we're going to be using a website called Image Color Picker, and that'll get us the RGB values of this blue. And so on the website, we can scroll down and upload our image. Okay, so we can go ahead and put those values into our code now. Um, we'll make a variable called RGB low. And go ahead and put down the values that you saw there. And uh, OpenCV actually uses BGR, so we're gonna swap the order, uh, reverse it. And so for the low value of um, blue, we want around 160. Green was around 110 and uh, red, that can go all the way to zero. Same thing for the high values. All right, now we can come down into this function and we're going to try to isolate those colors. And so um, we can start out, we need to get the image height and width, we'll need those later. I also added a line in there that we can use to crop the image if we want to later. And so next we're going to convert the image to grayscale and try to extract the colors and multiply that um, to form a mask. And so here we're generating the mask using the RGB values that we set earlier. And we're multiplying that with a grayscale image. And so um, I changed this temporarily to return this, um, this masked image. And so if we run the code right now, we should only see the line displayed. So here you can see it's blocking out everything except for the blue colors of the line. And it looks like it's missing some values. So we may need to play around with the RGB values a little bit more um, because we want a constant shape there. But this is looking pretty good already. And we can go ahead and start to do some uh, detection on it. So the next thing we're gonna do is use OpenCV's find contours method. And this will draw a polygon around um, the shape that we detected earlier. And we can basically use another function to get the center of that polygon. And we can use that to determine how far off the line the robot is. And 
And so now if the code detects a uh, shape of that shade of blue, we want to take the largest shape and get the centroid of that. Okay, so now this is getting the X and Y center of the largest polygon. And I put a statement in here that filters it to make sure that it's, uh, the area is no smaller than 3000 pixels. Um, and that just filters out any tiny specks uh, that may be throwing off the detection. And so now we can actually do an overlay on this image to show what the code is seeing. And so, um, we can plot the polygon and the centroid and display that on our image. And now if we don't find any contours or if the contours that we do find are too small. We want to return negative one for the center uh, so that we know the, the shapes that we're getting don't pass our criteria, um, don't consider them. And lastly, we're going to return CX. I also want to rename this function because we're not, we're doing processing now. And we can try to run this and we should be able to see it drawing lines around the, um, the object that we're trying to detect. Yeah. Notice the quick typo here. Um, we need to move this parenthesis into line so that we're comparing the area itself. And we also need to return none here. And there we go. Now we can see it drawing the shape around our line. And looks like the lighting may just be a little bit off, but we can adjust those RGB values later to get better tracking. All right, so in the next video, we're going to use this um, centroid to control the robot. And depending on how far off to the side it is, we can give it a command to correct for that. So we'll go over that in the next video. See you then.